You know, that's what they live for. That's what they've been told. Do these people, you know, a like a video pops up hard did a while ago, bunch of meat puppets. He had a picture. <laughs> that shit was crazy. But it's true. It's true. Just like the picture on here, a bunch of meat puppets. That's what these people are. All right? They can't think for themselves. They can't go outside the box. They just do whatever the government tells them. All right? And they, or if one of them decides to go against the grain, they go all the way against the grain, every grain that there is. You know? But anyway, it says, Be not dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity. So the real Israelites are supposed to be what? In the land of their captivity. And where's that primarily? It's in America. But also throughout the four corners of the earth because you got Israelites all over, man. All over, in Australia, Germany, Italy, uh, throughout Africa, okay, through the South America, Canada, Asia, Europe, you know, all different parts of Europe, Russia. You got Israelites scattered all over them places, man. And the Lord is going to deliver the elect from all of those places, man. But it said from the land of their captivity. And you better believe it that you're going to find them uh, living in the worst conditions in those places, man. You know, being afflicted because in a lot of these places, a lot of the, like in Vietnam, a lot of the, the, the Vietnamese, the, the government and everything, they know a lot of them Vietnamese, the war babies and everything, they know that they're Jake babies. They know they're not real, you know what I'm saying? And then when they grow up, they look at them, they grow up different, they, they're they more talented. You know, you had one guy that, uh, I think he grew up in Japan, but he's a Jake. He's in the NBA now. I think he played the Atlanta Hawks or whatever, or was playing with the Atlanta Hawks. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody playing shit now. But they know it, so they, they put them in separate areas, man. You know, and then they pick on them and everything, just like what Jake go through over here, you know? But it's, it's all spiritual. But the scriptures say, you say they see from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return. And, and see, and this is the part that Esau didn't figure. He didn't figure that the Israelites were going to actually wake up. It said, and shall be in rest. See, our rest is coming. We are going to be peacefully living in the kingdom of heaven. But we're going to have slaves and servants, man. And, and it's going to be payback. It's going to be the uh, everlasting, righteous, super vacation in, for, for the superheroes. We're going to be like superheroes, man. We're going to be above superheroes. All right? The least, uh, uh, your, your little pet, your, the least of your pets going to be on a higher level than a superhero. That's how the Lord is going to magnify us so much. We, the, the Lord told us we're going to be in other planets and other galaxies, man. That's in the book of St. John, the 14th chapter. All right? The Lord said that back when he was on the earth. See, that's why, why you think these devils are trying to sit there and, and, and build telescopes and everything to look past the what they call the Orion belt, the, the, the earth's firmament that the Lord created back in the book of Genesis. Why you think these devils are looking past that, man? They know that that science is bullshit. And a lot of you stupid ass niggas, you niggas that are talking about this oh, science, man, the hell with God, the hell with the Bible. The Bible ain't nothing. God is, is nothing. He ain't. It's about science. Science is going to save us. The Bible ain't going to... Well, the Lord is going to fucking wipe the earth with you niggas, man. Every last one of you stupid-ass niggas that, that drunk that, that that juice, man. All right? That Babylon juice, man. The most I going to wipe the earth with you niggas, man. And he's going to make mockery, man. All right? You're going to learn about the most side, man. Like, like we always quote that song James Brown did, Papa, don't take no mess. Well, that's the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father don't take no mess. All right? You ain't sliding not, not a bit, man. All right, you are humble before the Most High. You think you, you, you know you think the Most the white man got you you scared. Wait till the Lord get to you, you niggas, man. All right, the Most High is the power. That's who, who's to be feared. All right, but anyway, it says um, and shall be be in rest and be be quiet and none shall make him afraid. All right, you ain't got to worry about no cops pulling you, license and registration. What are you doing over here? It's after curfew. It said, none shall make him afraid. This is speaking about the Lord establishing us in our kingdom. Like, like uh, John the Revelator said, he's seen New Jerusalem coming from heaven. This is what this is speaking about, man. You see? It says, um, but now check it out. It says, for I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee. See? The Lord is going to save us, Israel, not the whole world. All right? And it's going to be made manifest even more so in these times. And we've been telling you. And then, then when you see it, you're going to really sit there and, and stand in awe. It says, Though I make a full end of all nations, 
will I have scattered thee? See, <coughs> when we're not speaking about that, that Israel scattered amongst all these other nations throughout the four corners of the earth. The Lord said, though I make a full end of all the nations, which I scattered, the most I going to bust their ass, man. He says, yet will I not make a full end of thee. The Lord said, but I'm not going to totally destroy you, but I will correct thee in measure. So the Lord said, he's going to correct you accordingly. That's why a lot of our people died, went through slavery, went through the, uh, some of the worst uh, uh, things in, in, in history, the worst uh, uh, atrocities, the worst you know, a, a, a way of living, the, the lowest levels of condition to where our people are today, with all disease infested and everything. That's because the Lord said he's still going to correct us. He said, I ain't going to make a full end of you, but I will correct thee in measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. So that's why we had to go through these things, man. But now the Lord is, is heard us at a good time to where now he's ready to, to uh, forgive, forgive us of our, uh, <coughs> of our sins. All right, so it says back in Psalms 124 and 6, Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth, meaning not allowed Esau to destroy us, man, and wipe us out like they plan, that's what they're trying to do. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. See, the snare means what? A trap. It's like a bird trap. The fowlers is somebody that go hunting for, for, for birds, so to speak. All right, and the scriptures referred to us as a speckled bird. Okay, and you got these devils, they set all these traps. All right, they set all these traps, such as the, uh, the, the projects. You go all into how they, that's all been set up, which is that's the curses, but the way it's set up, how how the uh, the quality of living, and that's why you had the um, was the Surgeon General, which was the Jake that's a part of the, uh, the National Guards or whatever, the light skinned Jake. He said that, look, he said, he said pretty much blacks. Are more susceptible to getting the coronavirus because of what he said there's no mystery is because of our way of living all right we live we got the worst conditions but the reason see he doesn't understand why that is you see the reason why the lord did that because he said he was going to destroy us until we go turn back and seek him he's going to raise up a nobody because these so-called white people the same devil that's in power at one time the earth knew that they were nobody why you think the, the people that really run everything the so-called jews so-called these they're the ones that run everything. They they control the, the money, the laws, everything. They 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 control everything. In the whole world abroad, the other nations, they look look at them like they're scum because they know all of the treachery and how they the, the ill-gotten gains that they got. All right, but they present themselves so holy, righteous, and they're we're Jewish. They know that they're not the real Jews. All right. They know that they try to convert into Judaism that they create that now. They got this thing called Judaism, but they know they're not the real Israelites, man. They know that we're the real Israelites. They know that the Heavenly Father is a so-called black man. They know his son is a so-called black man. They know that the Lord has his angels on those chariots, all right, that, that are also so-called black men, so to speak, dark-skinned men, right? They know these things, all right? But it says, our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fathers. So all these different traps they set up, which the coronavirus hit, it is another trap for them to what to get us to, uh, to take the, the vaccination, accept the new order, accept the chip, the RFID chip, because that's the main thing. Like I said earlier, this is what that's what it's going to lead into. So the Lord is going to deliver us, man, because that's a trap of the devil. He knows that the Lord said not to take take that chip. So what he's going to do is try to convince. That's what the devil does. Devil means deceiver. He's going to try to convince you that why you need to take the chip. See, you want to live, right? See, you're starving, right? And the thing is, you got a lot of our people don't know how to suffer. You see, and after a while, you got to learn how to love. And it's it's hard at certain times, but when you like the Lord, He was a man well acquainted with grief. When you acquaint, when you used to catch in hell, and see, and that's why there's a res different resilience with our people versus a lot of these so-called white people. And that's why Trump said a lot of them gonna start. We, and we've been saying it too. We've been saying it. All right, a lot of these uh, so-called white people are jumping off of buildings, trying to kill themselves, man. You see, that's what they're trying to do because when shit gets rough, they can't really deal. They don't know how to deal with it. They they thought in their mind that they thought that they were supposed to never have to go through no hard times, and there's nothing but hard times waiting for them. You see, and then that goes into Lazarus and the rich man. All right, which Lord willing, I've been wanting to do something on that. See how the spirit allowed.
things to go. It says, um, our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fathers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Okay, because why? Lord willing, we be of that number, the elect. We're going to be delivered up out of here, man, real soon. All right. It said, our help is in the name of the Lord. See, that's where our help is coming from. All right. Not into Esau and all these. Esau puts a lot of bullshit up out there, man. You know, you understand? Esau put a lot of crazy shit out there. But our help is in the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. That's why the name is very important, man. All right? Regardless of what anybody else try to tell you, you got other Israelites that should be ashamed of themselves still talking to each other, talking about, hey, brother, Christ said not to... the fuck you mean Christ? And you talking to a brother. It's not even like you're talking to somebody that don't know about the truth. And if it was someone that didn't know, then you should explain who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His real name is Yahweh Shai. Are you ashamed of that name? Are you ashamed of the, the Lord? All right. Well, guess what? Yahweh Shai is about to be ashamed of you niggas when he come back. A lot of you niggas thinking that the Lord is coming for you, man. And it's going to be made known. It's going to be made known because y'all just know, you know, y'all sitting there pumped up. Yeah, we got the truth. Ain't, ain't nobody else. You know, it's all, the truth only coming from us. And ain't no what. And the most I let you deceive yourself because the Lord said, he, he said, I'll choose their, I'm going to choose their delusions. So the most I chose your delusions. And that's why you people, you bugged the fuck out. A lot of Jake is bugged out, man. A lot of Jake is bugged out. It says, um, our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. So you got to remember that brothers. All right. So it says, uh, back in Psalms 91, it says, I'm going to jump to four. It says, he shall cover thee with his feathers, which is what? The chariots. It says, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. You see? Your defense, meaning what? This truth, this word, should be your, your shield and buckler. Thou should not be afraid for the terror by night. Right? Which we in that night, at night where all that terror is coming. Nor for the arrow that flies by day. And the arrow is really speaking about what? The nuclear missiles. Okay, because you're going to have these people going to be shook. All right, especially once the missiles, I mean, we ain't get to the missiles yet. There's certain things that got to happen until we get there. But once, you know, just speeding up to the missiles coming, it's going to be, by then, you, you think people are bugged out now and going crazy. They give you a little glimpse of that on War of the Worlds when they show you the chariots coming. Because before the missiles come, remember, the angels of the Lord are going to come right before the missiles. All right, right, right while the missiles are on the way, the Lord's going to be over here destroying and killing people man people that that uh came up against them that uh the people that that crucified them because remember the lord said the day of vengeance is burning in his heart the most high the lord didn't forget about that the lord's not he didn't say that he's gonna forgive them that that pierced them all right when you read in the scriptures he said look they're gonna see he's gonna see them and what you what you think the lord mean by they're gonna see him I meaning he's gonna deal with them man all right it's gonna be paid just like he told told uh what was it pilot he said think not that i could call for legions of angels you let let them know said so you're not taking my life i'm laying my life down so that you may so that the world may know that i love the father i followed what the, the father said to do he said don't think you have you don't have no power to take my life you see so it says um nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness right which is a lot of a lot of pestilence a lot of these different which goes into a lot of these uh these uh diseases and everything right it says that walketh in darkness, which, and again, the, we're, we're in a toxic society. And, and we should have been dead a long time ago, man. A long time ago. All right? And the thing that I, I remember a lot, I remember how I said, uh, we're not quoting it verbatim, but he told the disciples pretty much, you're going to be bitten by poisonous snakes and still live. Because why? Yeah, the Lord knew that we was going to come into these times where shit was going to be so fucked up like it is. The quality of life, the quality of air, the food, everything which is going to be tainted, man. You see? And go real quick. Uh, get ready to wrap, wrap this up. I didn't, you know, hey, it's all spiritual, man. <clears throat> I didn't know it was going to go this long, but it's all spiritual. Whoever, you know, the spirit wants to watch it, to watch it. All right, this is the book of uh, St. John's chapter 17. I mean, the whole the whole uh, <coughs> the whole chapter is, is fire, but I read. Uh, I'll start at nine, and this is the Lord, right? This is the Lord said uh, speaking. He says, "I pray for them. I pray not for the world." The Lord said <clears throat> he prayed for them. The them he prayed for is speaking about the disciples, and he's gonna go on and break it down. 
It says, showing you, and it says, I pray not for the world. So that's a cut, clear cut to all these people. That, and you still got people that are bugged out, thinking that the Lord loved the whole world. That, you know, the, they still think that. You had them fucking idiots talk about thinking that they was doing something by singing a line together. He's got the whole world in his hand. Started by the notorious homo itself, Tyler Fury. All right, and the most I gonna kill that nigga. That nigga's an agent for the devil. He's an agent for Satan. He's an agent for Esau. And he's a, a disease for you simple ass niggas. And, he, and a lot of you niggas gonna be led away into his madness and you gonna follow a, 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 a bitch named Medea, okay? That's gonna be the ones that lead a lot of you niggas into your destruction. You think, oh, he's, he turned his life around. He's a positive brother and but he's doing things for the coach. Man, listen, man, fuck the, what coach? Y'all don't even know what the coach, your coach is, man. All right, y'all don't know what your coach is. You talking about black culture. Now you got to talk about, you got to create a hip-hop culture. All right? And whereas, yeah, and I, I, I enjoy, I grew up in, in that time, you know, and I, I love uh, the 70s music, shit, even some 60s music, but 80s, 90s, hip-hop. But at the end of the day, it's all bullshit, man. All right? And the most sides not dealing with none of that, that mu all that music. All, when you look at all that music, it was really wickedness, man. 70s music, 80s, well, all the, all the genres was about adultery, man, even up to this day. That's what the majority of these uh, songwriters were writing about, committing adultery, sleeping with another man's wife. So the Lord is going to kill you niggas, man, you see? And and you talk about a hip-hop culture, the Lord ain't creating no hip-hop culture, man. That hip-hop culture is going to die here in Babylon. That's a Babylonian thing, man, you see? But that's Jake. Jake always creating different things. Everything but what they supposed to be into. This is what you're supposed to be into. This is your culture, man. Not to know going to a hip-hop summit or hip, whatever type of hip-hop meetings and stuff like that. Okay, now, of course, it's entertaining because that's your Israelites. All right? So it's not like there's a bunch of crackers doing it, although they, they, they're trying to whitewash the hell out of everything. You know, and that's the devil for you. You see? But a lot of y'all, because you, you don't got the truth, so you got to... Hold on to these, you got to make these up uh, falsehoods, man. And that's why the Lord is angry with you because you ain't listening to his truth, man. You see, you established your own righteousness. Because why? A lot of y'all was sold out to this devil and you got uh, established in this society. So you started filling yourself and you forgot that the Mosai uh, gave you law, statutes, and commandments. The Lord gave you a culture that you're supposed to follow. It's right here in the Bible, the Holy Bible. All right. It's right, right here. Right here in the book, the Most High gave you a culture for you to follow. So that's why the Lord is going to deal with you, man. And the Lord right here, he said, look, I'm only praying for my men. I'm not praying for the rest of it. And really, he was speaking about other Israelites because he knew that they was going to die. All right? He said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are dying. And mine are dying, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Because why? We sit here and, and uplift Yahweh Shai, man. We speak about the Son of the Heavenly Father, just like the, throughout the whole video. I'm telling you, that's the only way we're going to be delivered or saved out of here is through the belief, all right? And you and you got to have belief, all right? Because if you don't have no belief, then, you know, the Lord, the Most High ain't dealing with you, all right? As a matter of fact, I got to read this scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. See, it's, it's tons of scriptures, man, but, you know, Lord willing, I'm going to close it up with these scriptures. I mean, it's a lot of meat in here. But uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And, and man, uh, 7. It says, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Now, the treasure is speaking about what? The knowledge, wisdom, the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Bible. Earthen, earthen vessels, of course, is the bodies that we're in. It says that the excellency of the power may be of the most high. You see, because that's where all the, the power of this word, because uh, the truth is the most powerful weapon on the earth, period. OK, the word, which is the word of the heavenly father. You can read Hebrews 4 and 12 to get further understanding on it. It said and not of us because we didn't uh, write these things. This is not our wisdom. This is not me sitting here thinking, trying to be slick or be. No, this is what we're going. I'm trusting in what the Lord said. See, because why in, in this society? The so-called white man with his witchcraft, they push uh, uh, free thinking, free will, which is another another uh, thing that goes back to uh, Alistair Crawley, which was a well-known, which is a witch that put up these different, um, f this philosophy, which basically is rebellion against the Heavenly Father's 
doctrine and culture that the Lord already set up. So that's why a lot of these people, they sit there and, and they think that they're higher than what the wisdom the Lord gave us. Yeah, but you, you're using a book, using a book man-made. They want to sit there and argue. Well, here it is. Everything that's happening still to this day as you speak was recorded, written in a book before it happened. So what kind of man wrote that? Huh? It says, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. So we, we catch hell on, like I was speaking about earlier, the, the body is attacked through different um diseases that we're in a, a fucking cesspool of, of diseases, of wickedness, Every day, especially, you know, you can't just live on, under under a rock and showing you that the coronavirus shit is, is bullshit because if, if it was a thing about equal distancing or social distance, whatever, was the answer to, to help stop it spread, well then why are they still having people still going out doing things we're just going to restrict it to everybody should be quarantined inside the house nobody should come out everybody staying you know the we all going to stay in the house if we see anybody out we're going to shoot you you know which eventually it's going to get to that they are going to come with them austerity because that's part of the they uh their plan right but the point is showing you it's just bullshit man it's it is hysteria even though they spoke about the, the pastor that was saying that and, and he died because he went going all over the place we don't know. There's so much stuff these devils do. You got to question what's real. You know, got to question who's a crisis actor, who's not a crisis actor, who they actually killed, who they fake their death. You see, all these things happen. This is the, the type of world that we're in. Thanks to yours truly, the so-called white man, the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. All right, Esau. When you read in the Bible and it speaks about Esau, know that that's talking about these so-called white people today. All right. So it says, uh. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, right? And they persecuted the Israelites, and especially uh, GMS, which is the name that they gave us, right? Great Millstone, which goes back into the scriptures, which is spiritual, all right? The Lord actually gave us that name, you know, through, through the brothers that was watching us. But it, it says what? We're persecuted because they sit there and say, all men are evil and wickedness against us. To what? To try to stop what, what we're saying, to stop the word of the Lord. Oh, uh, look at how they talk. They, they, they're a bunch of, uh, they wicked, they're evil. They have no respect for women. They rapists, they, they, uh, they're homos, they're, they're bums. They don't work. They, you know, uh, they say whatever they could think of to say, just to discredit us. And we don't give a shit. What the fuck you say? We're just here to teach the word of the Heavenly Father, whether you accept it or not. You, okay, you, you good? You think you know? A lot of people, man, I'm God. No, I know God. I know. Okay, nigga, then you fucking go ahead and, and die. And, and see if your God come and help you. You know, when you out there, you and your family's all fucked up, you know, by whether it be the corona, whether it be the uh, uh, riots that are coming, whether it be, you know, um, you know, in martial law, or whether it be when the chariots of the Lord come. All right, because the chariots of the Lord is coming real soon. The same nigga that sit there and say that I know God and I got a relationship with God, I went to church up. He gonna be the same nigga that's gonna take the chip, the mark of the, which is the mark of the beast, in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter. All right, they had a, a, a movie, <clears throat> which a bunch of Christians, they did it, but it, you know, they had some good points in it, but they was, it was, it's kind of corny when I go back and look at it now. They keep trying to pump that, you know, white Jesus again. But um, they show, they gave you a glimpse of how the lines are gonna be and people gonna have to, you gonna have to take the, the chip. And these same people that sit there, oh, I know, I know God, you, ain't, you can't tell me nothing. I know all about that, cuz, right? Them niggas, <laughs> which is supposedly has with uh, the bum, 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 diddly, heavy D, heavy D said to um, one of the apostles when they offered to sell him some oils. Now, I know all about that, cuz. Apostle Gabor, I believe it was, right? And Apostle Rakai. I know all about that, cuz. You see? That's how these niggas are. They, we bringing them the truth. I know all about that, cuz. But then they'd be the first ones to go get a chip. They're in line to get a chip. You know, man, we got man. My kids gotta eat. I want to eat. They don't have no faith or integrity or knowledge of the Most High. Okay, it says, uh, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. Always being about in the body, the dying of the Lord Yahweh Shai, and that's the infirmities, that's the the persecutions, everything we go through. Because why? That's part. Of, we gotta bear that cross. The Lord said, He, if you don't bear your, your cross, you're not worthy to be the Lord's disciple, man. It says that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our body because Yahweh Shai was a man well acquainted with grief. So we're going through the sufferings 
of the Lord. And remember, it tells you that the captain of our salvation was made perfect through suffering. You see? So we were supposed, yeah, we were supposed to suffer. You know, a lot of people into this prosperity doctrine, but that's not of the Most High. The Most High didn't set up no prosperity doctrine, man. We're supposed to suffer all the way to the last minute, man, until whether if it's your time to, to die and pass on, you know, go back to the Father, or if you're here to remain when the Lord comes himself, Yahweh Shai comes himself. Your duty is to uh, suffer but remain faithful all the way until the end, you see? And in these times, I mean, there's so many things that are happening, which all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, of course, that this is a beautiful time, and this is where you got to really apply it. This is where it really counts. See, years ago, it was like rehearsal. You know, the Most High was giving us chances to get, you know, he, he went through certain things, but you didn't go through his critical situations of uh, been under the pressure that is out there now. So now is when you really got to, and you see who's really, you know, grounded, who's really, up, you know, uh, uh, up, was serious about this truth, who's really precious stone, right, precious metal, or who's really wood, chap, like it says in Corinthians, right? It says, um... For we, we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shai's sake, for the sake of the Lord, that the life also of Yahweh Shai may be manifest in our mortal body. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. Because why? Through us being persecuted and everything, everybody reaps the benefits of the, the labor that we put in through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. So now that you come uh, on a level, you start you become knowledgeable of the will of the Lord, the name of the Lord. You know what you're supposed to be doing, even though we might might have took the shots for or the men before us, the, especially the apostles, the head of head apostles, head apostle to all on down, right? It says, uh, we having the same spirit of faith. See, the spirit of faith, as according as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken. So if you speak in His word, that means you believe, and if you believe in His word, that means you know we gotta have faith. It says, we also believe, and therefore we speak, knowing that he which raised up the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall raise up us also by Yahweh Shai, and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sake, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of the Most High, for which cause we faint not. See? Meaning we still ain't fainting, we still continuing you know, to push on, to push the work, even with everything that's going, man, you still, just like in, in, in war, man, you know, if you have casualties, you, you uh, might lose certain people you, that you was fighting with or whatever the case is. But look, man, the mission still remains, man. The mission continues. It's never over until the Howard Shai come back, man. That's why he says, he that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. All right? It says, uh, for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, which meaning what? We go through all these different uh, atrocities. We, 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 um, we play, certain brothers are plagued in the flesh. Said, so, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Because that's what's important, the inward man. And each day we get closer, our spirits grow and, and is renewed, refreshed. Refreshed as far as the will of the Lord. You see? It says... For our light affliction, you see the scripture say our light affliction, which is but for a moment because it's not going to last forever. It's eventually, it's going to be all over with. You just got to be patient enough and pray for patience, man. That's why the Lord said, in your patience, possess ye your souls. It says, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal, which is faith, the kingdom of heaven, all right? The Lord coming back, delivering us. Those things are gonna last forever. Eternal. Even though it doesn't look like it, even though it doesn't seem like it, those are things that are gonna last forever, man, all right? So now back in John 17, it says, verse 11, and now I am no more in the world but these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. You see? It goes the name again. All right? And that's how you got to become one with the Father, Yahweh, Shemiah, Shah. All right? As well as with each other, because we're a body. 
one, one, really with one body with different parts, different members. Okay, it says, uh, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. See, because we're in this world now and we got to stay in the name. Just like when Yahweh Shai was with the disciples, they were amongst the people, the elements and everything. And he said, I kept them in our name. I, he made sure that they remembered the name of the Heavenly Father. He always told them uh, I'm about doing my meters to do the will of the Father, which that was an example for us now. So that's why I said it, everything still stays the same. We got to continue in this thing, man, regardless, even when, you know, when at your weakest moments, man. All right, because you're going to go through. Yahweh Shai had moments where he was weak, and, and what, you're going to go through it, man, at your weakest moments. But you got to push through, man. You got to fight. You got to fight. All right, and the Lord is going to be with you. So there's nothing, we really don't got to, even though the, the scriptures tell you about how the, the flesh, you know, your mind plays games on you, so to speak. You go through certain things or whatever, but you got to understand that it's all a test. Everything we go through is a test. And stay faithful and trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, and, and a thing that you know, a lot of us from the apostles and elders, we think about too. Really, we, we're worthy of death anyway. So, you know, us catching hell, if that's what it takes for us to get into the kingdom. And remember, Yahweh Shai said it's better to enter into the kingdom lame or hot, you know what I'm saying, with one eye or, or whatever brother's going through. All right, it's better just to get there, just to make it there because why? Then you'll be made. The scriptures say they that wait upon the Lord. To renew their strength So if you could uh, Hold on Until Yahweh Shai Get back You're going to be good man We're going to reap the benefit The Lord is not unrighteous To forget your works of love The Lord is going to give you The benefits the Reap the benefits Of the kingdom of heaven Which is Eternity Eternity Alright Paradise For eternity Something that has never been seen before Alright Whatever Whatever splendidness You might have seen Throughout history uh, Throughout this certain hey, the, the, the earth The way the Lord uh, lace the earth you see certain landscapes you be like wow man truly truly the most high it was a, a brilliant power that designed these things man to see like how these different flowers and everything in certain parts of the world are, are laced up and everything man even even in the united states one which i didn't realize which apostle rhyme love he had sent me some pictures <laughs> and he had did some shows um with the brothers out there in seattle right you know, because we you know Seattle for being a, supposed to be a dreary place and all that, and rainy and all that, sleepless in Seattle and all that, right? Man, he was showing me some of the the, 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 the landscape over there, the plants and probably like, damn, that shit look exotic as hell, man. That shit look exotic as hell, man. So, you know, you just, you know, like you can't even imagine the kingdom of heaven, the, the, the how beautiful and exotic, and then the other lands out man it's something that to hold on for man to see how the most high is going to reward those that believed in him that that stood stiffly for his name it says while i was with them i kept them in thy name those that thou hast gave me i have kept and none of them is lost but the son of perdition that the scripture might be fulfilled and now come i to thee and these things i speak in the world that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hated them. See? And that's why they really hate us, is because of the word of the Heavenly Father. Because they really hate the Heavenly Father. It says, because they are not of the world. And we're really not of this world. That's why we don't fit. We're like, uh, uh, what is it, square pegs trying to fit in a circle? We, we don't fit. This is not, because this is not our, our, our rest. This is not our world. It says, even as I am not of the world, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. Right. So the disciples and the prophets, we had it still, we still here in the world. So the Lord said, not that you take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. So the Lord prayed, Yahweh Shai prayed for us, man, to the most high to keep us from the evil. So you got to trust in the Lord, man. All right. Wholeheartedly. The Lord, because the scriptures say that famine and destruction now shall laugh. So how are we going to be able to laugh at famine and destruction least uh, the angels of the fa Heavenly Father are watching over us, man? The Lord is preserving us, you see? And trust me, bro, every, every day we do get stronger and stronger. Even though you might not see it, you know, I might not see it, but, you know, later you realize, like, oh, shit, because people are, are going crazy right now, and we're, we're cool as a fan, man. And that even drives people crazy. 
you know? I mean, we get excited because we're passionate, brothers, you know, we're passionate, you know, and hey, we in the we in the flesh, so, you know, but overall, people, the, the, the level of cool that's on us makes people nervous. They're like, what the fuck is going on with these guys? You see? But um, anyway, I'm going to end it right there. I mean, you know, I know we touched a few things, man. It's always more if the spirit get on me. You know, I didn't, I didn't realize. Well, hey, it's the spirit though. Um, but I, I hope, hope you brothers and sisters will edify. Like I said, you know, I mean, you know, hey, if brothers want to get uh, whatever you call it, shit, night stone or whatever the shit. I can't, even, I don't even know how to pronounce it, man. But I mean, but don't be looking into all that shit, man. I mean, if you got it, so be it. You know, this is not like you straight up sin. You know, but don't be. That's not some. I would I would recommend you brothers to be out there pushing. Push the scriptures, prophecy, faith, all right, what's going on, the word of the Heavenly Father, you know. I mean, if that's information, that's cool, but don't go too crazy about that because the Lord is gonna protect us, man, you know. And we in we in it, we gotta go through it, we gotta suffer, just like the Lord had to suffer what he had to suffer. So, you know, I mean, not nothing wrong with being circumspect and, and I mean as is uh as a saying, a wise proverb. An ounce of, what is it? An ounce of prevention. Prevention is worth more than a pound of cure. So of course you want to prevent what you could do if you, you know, you clean your house down, spray if you got Lysol, whatever the case is. Uh, drink herbs and teas and stuff like that, which is cool. I mean, with the stones, there are vibration breaches on them. A lot of brothers do like wearing stone necklaces. I mean, I got a couple of nice pieces that the brother. Cause that made for me a while ago. I rock them every now and then. But as far as find, look, oh man, let's get this stone so I can help me protect. We under the 5G. Look, the Most High gonna protect us, man. It's it, it, it's too late anyway to try to unradiate yourself from what Esau done did. All right, this is just now. It's just coming out. You know when Esau let these things coming out is because they already done did it. They already done put the information out there. You know what I'm saying? So don't be squirming. Oh man, let me go to Amazon and try to see if I can get some Shug Night stones and. Nah, man, just trust in the Lord, brothers. All right? But anyway, with that, hope brothers got the point. In all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak, with Dodge. And I say Shalom to you, Sincere Aki. Shalom.